here we have an Xbox Series X that came in for what looks like an HDMI connector replacement. The reason we know this is because the customer mailed over about five HDMI ports and anytime, I mentioned this before, anytime we get a device with components mailed along with the device, it means the customer tempered with the device, he tried to replace the component, he was not successful, he did the damage and then he mailed it over to us. I know this and I was right. We disassembled the motherboard and take a look at what's happening here. The customer removed the HDMI port and this is what happened. We have how many missing pads? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten missing pads. The customer is paying for the service plus the restoration of every pad. We contacted him, we got the okay and today we're going to attempt to fix this. Let's start by grinding those traces so we can expose the copper because we're going to run pad strips to restore all those missing pads. The grinding pen is now on the charger. I've been using it for almost one month without having to charge this since a month ago, but now it's out of battery, but we did the job. We do not need it right now. We were out of stock on this pen as of maybe two weeks ago, but we have a large stock now. It's back in stock. And I think every viewer of our channel already bought one, but if you are new to the channel, and you want one, you can log into northbridgefix.com, click on shop, and you can buy it from there. It's one of the most useful tools I have on the bench here. Anytime I'm dealing with rip pads and I want to grind the traces, this pen works like magic. So now that we have the traces scraped, let's apply flux. And we're going to soak those pads with solder. Right now I'm using Ampeg 559 Flux. And we are a distributor of the Flux. You can also find it on our site, as well as all the other tools that we use here. And now we're going to work on something called pad strips for all new viewers on the channel. Old viewers, they already know. But for all new viewers, we use something called pad strips. And those you can also purchase from our e-commerce website. So 10 pads, we may need about 5-6 pad strips. So let's grab, let's start with maybe 5 of them. So we do not keep going back and forth.
now we're going to put the narrow side of the pad strip because if we put the thick side and we have a thick side here, they may touch. So we can alternate. Right, so now the next step is to secure those traces with UV mask from the top and bottom if possible. And that was the reason why I cleaned the area from the top and bottom very well, so we can apply solder mask. If we apply solder mask on to an area with flux or a dirty area, then solder mask may not stick properly. So we cleaned this area as best as we could, and now we're gonna apply UV mask.
So we secured this one from the top and bottom. And uh, we're gonna do this one also from the top and bottom. This one from the top and bottom, this one top and bottom. And now we're gonna use our 10 watt UV light. Just like that. And that's one awesome UV light. You can also find it on our e-commerce site, northwitchfix.com, click on shop. And I keep mentioning this for all our new viewers. Old viewers already know. And it may get boring after a while, but just bear with me. The light is gonna shut off by itself after about 15, 20 seconds. Like so. Let's do it one more time because we have a lot of UV mask on the board, so it doesn't hurt to do it 15, 20 more seconds. Right, awesome. Solder mask hardened and all the pads are solid. What I wanna do is apply some flux and apply another layer of solder. And then we can solder our HMI connector. And here we have a brand new HMI connector. And now we're gonna refold that connector down in place. We're gonna apply heat and press down on the connector and all the pins of the connector should make a good connection with the pads and with the pad strips that we soldered on. <coughs> Unless we do not have enough solder on one of the pads then the pin from the HMI connector is not going to make a solid connection and we will have to go over it manually. Right now I applied as much solder as I could on the pads and the connector should make a solid connection with all the pins from the very first time. Solder liquefied. And we should be all good. I'm gonna press and hold for a few more seconds until solder hardens. And let go. Let's check on those pins. Make sure everything is solid. If we do find one that's not solid, then we have to manually apply solder onto that pin. And we'll make it solid. We'll make it better than factory. But let's see. Let me zoom in. So we can inspect this closely. So let's go over this quick. Solid, 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 solid. Now the pin may move along with the pad strip. It's okay if it's moving along with the pad strip because the pad strip is not bolted onto the board. Even though we have UV mask on the top and bottom, still the pad strip may still have room to play. And that's okay as long as the pin is moving along with the pad. Okay, I can tell 
the pad under it is moving along with the pin. So that's good. If that pin is not making a connection with anything, it will move freely to the left and right. And we should be able to immediately tell that the pin is not making a connection. I'm zoomed in a lot, so we have a short focus point. All right. We are solid. Just take a look at this piece of art. And look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's flip the board, solder the back. We're gonna use our fine steel brush to get rid of all that gooey stuff that's left on the board. Let me just look at the copper here on the left. Why so much flux? Some people ask. I use the amount that I see fit to get good results. Not enough flux will not make good joints. Again, I'm not talking about smoking joints, like I mentioned in my videos. Solder joints. Because a light bulb may pop over somebody's head. Joints. No. Smoking is bad for your health. See what happens when we do not have enough flux? Look at the way the joint looks. And look at the way these joints look, nice and round. Now the joint may not look good if that green UV mask on the board is scraped and copper is exposed because solder is gonna flow to whatever copper area it sees. Now look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. And look at how solder made its way all the way through. And that's what we want, see? Beautiful, beautiful. And that's it, the job is done. Big Boss already left for the day, so we're not gonna be able to reassemble and test until tomorrow. I also worked on a Dell Alienware 17 inch that came in for no power. I also put the motherboard on his bench waiting to be reassembled. I'll probably post a video tomorrow, but that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.